the word from God for today. To whomever is reading this, I hope that you get relief from whatever it is that is causing you pain or worry. The time has come for you to rid your head of all the negative ideas, excessive analysis, and self-doubt. Confused minds, please be enlightened, I hope that you find serenity and quiet in your life. Click the like button if you share my faith in God. Don't be afraid to pick yourself up and start again. Drop the negative ideas that make you feel less valuable. Stop telling yourself you can't improve and make progress. Let rid of the persons and behaviors that deviate you from realizing your goal. The moment has come to release self-limiting ideas. Let your inner divinity emerge. Put in our men to claim it. Disappointment, worry, fear, trauma, and any other negative emotions or thoughts must now be expelled from your whole being. You are healed and your heart is brimming with fortitude, bravery, insight, and love. You are a divine soul having a human experience. Envision it in your mind. Envision it. Own it. Press the Y Yes button to confirm. Your soul will shine a bright light on the path ahead of you, and you will have a strong, compelling impulse from inside to pursue it. Every moment is an opportunity to think on the things that make your life worth living, and to learn and develop as a result of life's shifts. You can't be stopped, you have no fear, despite your weakness, you are resilient. Put on an armor of self-assurance to protect yourself from criticism. Don't try to fit into the mold others have drawn for you. Your unique essence, your sole purpose, is why you are here. Your spirit has awakened. Be receptive. It will be easy to see what to do next. If you agree, please respond with yes. You have to forge your own route, always keeping in mind your boundless potential. The more you pursue a spiritual path, the more you'll learn about yourself and how you may best contribute to the fulfillment of your divine destiny. Think inwards. You must have the your guts to follow what heart is telling you, since only then you are following the path planned for you. You have the breath of life inside you. No one can dull your brightness except you if you don't let them be as great as your heart and mine will allow you to be. Press the Y Yes button to confirm. From a place far deeper than who you now believe yourself to be, something is going to emerge. Ultimately, your goal in life should be to awaken. Don't give in to habitual routines simply because they're easy. Moving beyond previous bounds radiates a distinct vitality. There are TWO possible futures. Notice, accept, embrace. The tides are going to turn in your favor. Overthinking, negative ideas, and uncertainty will immediately go away, and rational reasoning will take their place. Your life is about to become more peaceful, loving, and tranquil. You've stayed resilient long enough. Now is the time to get the rewards of your efforts you have earned. I know it seems like everything is falling apart and you're scared, but God wants you to know that the pieces are coming together and you will finally understand. The Spirit of the Lord is saying, 
what appears to be falling apart is actually coming together. Since you were a little kid, the devil has been after you, attempting to destroy you because he knows you're destined for great things. Because he is aware of your divine appointment, he has been exerting extra effort to muzzle your words, block your abilities, restrict your growth, and prevent you from making your mark. They haven't been able to defeat you because you have a defender who watches over you round the clock. He is warding against the powers of evil that would otherwise destroy you. An affirmation of I embrace my power may be typed out. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to praise Him for His solutions. If you do this, you will feel God's peace. As you put your faith in Christ Jesus, you will experience a peace that beyond human comprehension, and it will keep your mind and heart at ease. Today, God is saying, I saw what they did to you, it was bad, wicked even, but do not seek vengeance yourself. You have more important tasks to accomplish in the kingdom. Beseech the Lord on their behalf, since I will recompense them for their evil. Those who harm my children will face the full force of my wrath. Just chill down, love them, pray for them some more, and watch me do what I need to do whenever I need to do it. It's tough to retain believing in God when you're in the dark about what's happening and you feel like He's forgotten about you. When you feel like you've been used, when you think loyalty is overrated, when you feel like you've been treated unfairly, when you've been deceived, etc. If you've ever felt like the wind has been taken out of your sails after being knocked down again, I know how tough it is. I know you don't understand right now, but God is with you and for you, and He is good and does good. It's not over. Faith is based on trust, not comprehension. If you're ready to go on, just hit the Amen key on your keyboard. God, even if you can't see it, understands when something has fulfilled its function and will take it away just to replace it with something greater. God knows when things should end even if you're not ready. God is preparing what's next for you because He understands that you need a change. He knows that He has leading you to a better destination or directing you to a more satisfying existence. God, I assure you, is listening to your prayers and is providing for you, although in His own time and in His own manner, the very things you have asked for. When you ask for joy and instead find yourself pulling away from the people who once brought you joy, he is telling you that these are not the people to surround yourself with because they drain you. When you pray for tranquilly and instead find yourself unemployed, he is telling you that your future is better elsewhere. If you ask for love and he delivers you sadness instead, it's because he thinks you should change your approach. God works in strange ways. Sometimes we're stuck and we don't understand why we plead God for answers and for direction. We beg him for people and things that we don't need. The things we hate about ourselves are just transitory and we have already discovered someone who loves us in spite of our many faults. 
God forgives us for everything, including the people we've hurt. We don't know why, and we know we don't deserve it. But He does it anyway, because He loves us. We may not know what the future holds, and we may be anxious about it, but God does. All we have to do is have faith in His plan for us and trust Him. To confirm, type I am kind to myself. God's ways may not make sense to us, and we may not always be able to fathom His motives, but we must remember that He is in control of the whole picture. It's possible that you're prepared for what God has in store for you, but that doesn't mean everyone else who will be involved is. Until God's ideal moment comes, and He has finished working in another person or circumstance, He cannot answer your prayer in the way that He wants to in your life. Let God work things out His way. The solution will come when it's supposed to. If you want to live your greatest life today, you have to learn to trust God's timetable. Enter yes if you accept this. I know it's tough, but if you only knew, God has beauty for those ashes. Maybe you've experienced a loss, you're discouraged thinking you've seen your best days. If you only knew how He's going to connect the dots in your life, how all things are going to work for your good, you'd get your passion back. If only you knew the doors that are about to be opened to you, the new friends that are on the horizon, and the fact that your later days will be better than your earlier ones. It may seem like the end, but in reality, you're only at the start of the finest years of your life. I wasn't prepared for today. With everything that I have been through this year, I didn't have a word to share with you, but this one just came to me. This is the year the Lord is going before you, and you will witness the results in the natural. Today, God is saying, I need you to truly remain focused in the next days. The adversary is aware that I am about to bless you with something you've been hoping for. The adversary is going to exploit individuals that you know to distract you with pettiness don't bother answering that. Keep going about your day as nothing is happening and be ready to be blessed. If you believe in God, subscribe to our channel. Please, Heavenly Father, help me to be patient with others, to love them and to forgive them as you have forgiven me. I pray that the Holy Spirit guides my words and gives me the insight to proclaim the truth when others are straying. Please hold me back in the name of Jesus Christ from using the truth for my personal benefit. You will soon be able to look back on your life and see that God was always there hearing your prayers and providing a way out of any difficulty. The world is ready to meet you all over again. You've committed so many days, months, and years towards upgrading your mind, body, and soul. It's going to pay off in every manner. Your developing sense of inner power and burgeoning faith have given birth to a new you, and this you is unstoppable and reaching incredible heights. The new you is to busy counting, her blessings to be discouraged by setbacks, and the universe will respond accordingly. You should not let go of the person you are, right now because they are the greatest you've ever been. 
If you get this proclamation, type I claim it to claim it. God says, my dear child, whatever you face, I see it too. You attempt to figure it out on your own, drawing strength from prior struggles. And God responds, it is hard because you rely on yourself. Remember, my child, you are not alone. Look to me and I will lead your steps, empower you and show you the way. I love you and I am here with you, and together we can do anything. A simple yes or no will do. God tells you, my sweetheart, these concerns, anxieties, and fears are like clouds that attempt to obscure your beautiful brightness. Keep in mind, kid, that everything is going to be okay. I just can't show you the end result just yet. Believe that you can do anything, even walk on water or move mountains, for I am with you and will strengthen you and support you. You are my sunlight and I will protect you at all costs. God says today, you've done a good job surrendering these giants to me. I am so proud of you, child. Now that you've learned how to do it, let's check together these details that are troubling your heart every day. Embrace my presence in your minor chores, and I bless you with the joy you were always seeking. Let go of your pride, and let me to guide you through this world the way I see it. A simple yes or no will do. But in times of hardship, I want you to give it all to me, and I will see to it that you are cared for. God warns, if you feel like you're losing the battles you confront every day, it's because you're trying to do it on your own. You attempt to face it head on, using the same armor and weapons you used before. But sweet child, just as different teachings need different stationery in the classroom, so do various trials require different instruments to learn them. Come on, let's become stronger as a team. For I am your supplier, and I provide you all you need if you would just let go of the old and learn to utilize your new abilities. Just hit the I'm optimistic button if you're all set. God says I know that you stress a lot at times. I don't blame you, life can be hard. It can be challenging, and it can overwhelm us at times. However, God wants you to give all to Him at times of struggle. So enjoy the peace surrounding you right now, and experience the joy that comes with it tomorrow. As you wake up, we will meet again, and I will gift you the peace needed for that day. God says, child, don't limit your understanding by the information at hand and make decisions based on that. Come to me and I will uncuff you from this desperate situation. I will show you the answer. I will help you. Type yes if you feel this. If your life has been turned upside down by anything beyond your control of death, divorce, money issues, job loss, sickness, natural catastrophe, accident, ETC, and you find yourself on a road you didn't choose, this book is for you. Relax in the knowledge that God is in charge and has always known about the trials you now face. You may feel as though you will never get better, but trust that God still has a good plan and purpose for your life and will use even this to bring about good. Cling to the Lord and His 
promises rather than your circumstances, because the Lord is trustworthy and will see you through. God is speaking to you today, trust me. I'm preparing you for a game-changing breakthrough. A new season is starting, and it's time to make the most of it. Avoid contempt for the method, don't hate the trip. The storms may come, but they will mold you into someone more, like me if you stick through them. With my blessing on your life, onlookers will scratch their heads and wonder what you did to deserve such good fortune. They just can't get it, you got this from my own hands. What I accomplished through you, no one else can claim as their own. Do not be timid when you enter the next phase of your life. There is no evil that can defeat you. Just typing I am evolving is a powerful affirmation. Barriers have been shattered, and some things will now occur with quickness and ease. Act when God tells you to. October and November will be powerful months for you. Do what he instructs you to do, even if it's hard. Satan will attempt to get a foothold in your mind, so you need to quickly shut him off. I believe July and August will be pivotal months, but for some of you, September will be a whole other level because God is accomplishing something monumental in this season and you will get what he has for you. Prayer for a Thursday I want to approach today with an attitude of thankfulness. Therefore, I'd like to start by thanking the Lord for giving me another day of life. To the God who is loyal even when I am not, I give thanks for being my shield, provider, redeemer, and the God who meets all my needs. Thank you for being there for me no matter what, and for giving me the grace and fortitude to tackle whatever challenges today brings. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. An affirmation of I embrace my power may be typed out. God says, child, when you look into the future with the eyes of faith, do you see bad grades? Do you see stressful work? Perhaps people who hurt you? That's right, they're not there. The future I have planned for you is bright and lovely. So don't allow the troubles of today Enter your vision of the kingdom, focus on me. Not the storm, my little warrior, I love you. It's easy to feel discouraged and fearful when life seems to be spinning out of control, but instead try to keep your focus on the fact that God has everything under control and that nothing is too hard or impossible for him to handle. When God has you in his hands, you may rest certain that he has your best interests at heart and that he will provide for you no matter what. Press Amen if you believe in God. Believe that God is for you, no matter what you're going through right now, and instead of dwelling on your problems, see God working to make them disappear. Awaken your faith and set your sights on his advancement and blessing as you keep your thoughts on him and choose to follow his word. Because he has you in the palm of his triumphant right hand, you will experience miraculous breaks that catapult you farther than you ever dreamed imaginable. Just tap out the words this to shall pass as a mantra. Click yes if you're pumped and forward this video to five believers in God.
To support our channel, please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.